In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new search widget form of Elementor Pro. It opens up a lot of possibilities if you're running a blog, an e-commerce website, or any kind of website that could benefit of a live preview search widget. Let's go and see how it works. This is my website and I want to add a new search form here to make people able to search through my blog content. So now I will edit with Elementor here, my header. By the way, if you want to learn how to create headers like the one that you see right here, I invite you to check all the links in the description below because I have done many tutorials about Elementor headers, Elementor search pages, Elementor mega menus and many other tutorials. So now here I will just add a search widget form. Here it is. I'll drag and drop this widget into my header and I start styling it. I will just apply some global settings here. Okay, now that I have styled this element, I'll go into the content area and I change a few things. Here you can choose if you want people to be able to browse into your products, if you're running WooCommerce, for example, or into your custom post types or into your blog. In my case, since I'm going to use this for my blog, I will write search in the blog. Here I can choose if I want to enable the autocomplete functionality into this search input, and then I can scroll down and I can change also the submit button text if I want, or I can add an icon if I want. Let's add this one. Okay, so this icon will appear here and I can change of course also the style of my icon. If I want, I can even get rid of this text. Okay, perfect. Now when I scroll down here, I see the results section, which allows me to enable the live results functionality, which is great and we will see it in the next part of the video. But most of all now I have to choose the query part. So my source, in my case, it will be my posts because I want people to be able to browse into posts in this case. If I want to make people browse into all my website content, I can leave on all, but in my case, I will just select posts. So I will be sure that people will be able to search and find only posts when they use this specific search bar. Down here, I can include or exclude a specific kind of posts based on term or author. If I choose term, for example, I can filter them based on category, tags, and so on. But in my case, I want users to be able to search the whole blog content. Here, if I want, I can go and tweak around with other options. But in my case, I'm okay like this, and I will just click on publish. Let's make a quick test now to see if everything works fine. Okay, I will go down here and search in the blog. Since I have not created a template for my search results page, I'll just see this standard search results page. If you want to style this page and customize it perfectly, I invite you to follow my full tutorial about how to create a search results page with Elementor. You will find it here in the cards and in the description down below. So now let's see how we can further customize this search box widget using the new live results preview. We go back here into our header, we go to the results settings, we select our widget, we go into content, results, and we see now here this new option which is called live results. If we enable this, we see that we need to create a template to enable this functionality. We go and click on create template, and we click on save, and then we land here on the template creation screen. First thing we, we need to do is go to go here into the gear icon and change the settings. Here we change the title of this card, and in my case I will give it the title live search results card. I will insert here all the elements that I need to show into my live search results. So let's go here into the Flexbox. In my case, I use this one here and I will start by adding my blog post image. So I click on plus icon and I use the featured image. Perfect. I want this image to be squared and placed on the left side of the search results area. So I'll select the image, I'll go to the image resolution and I will use in my case the thumbnail. Perfect. Then I will go to the Style tab, and I will set in my case a custom width. Let's say that I want it to be 50 pixels, that's great. And now if I want, I can also style it a little bit. In my case, I will add a light border radius about 10 pixels. Now the second element that I want to add here is the title of my blog post. So I'll go on the plus icon and I add and drag and drop my post title, and I click on my post title. Okay, here I can choose an H4, okay and I can change the styling to match a little bit more the context. Okay, like this is perfect. The next thing I want to do is to add the category. So I'll go on the plus icon and I will add the post info. I will choose the terms and I will choose the categories. Now here I will be careful to disable the link, okay? And I will also disable the icon. I will just write here in the before section in, colon, and then there is the name of the category. Now, since I want this category to be 
under the title here of my blog post, I will just need to group both of them into a container. So I will add a new container. Okay. I will choose this container to be a vertical container. Okay. And then I will drag and drop here my title and my category. Okay, perfect. Now I just need to change the spacing here, the gaps between rows and columns. I'll place them to zero and I will change the design settings into my category. Go to style. I'll just give this element a few breathing space, five pixels. And then I will style my card. So I will go to the main container, go to the advanced tab and add a few pixels of padding. Let's say five pixels. And I will also add a border to the bottom and it will just be the bottom border. Okay, let's have a quick preview. So this will be my search results live preview card template. Now, the last and the most important part, I need to add a link here to this search results template. So I go here and select the main container. Be sure to avoid inserting any links into the image, into the title and into the, any other element inside here. I go to the layout tab, I scroll down, additional options, and I choose to assign as the HTML tag, a link. Okay. As I was mentioning before, it says here, don't add links to elements nested in this container because they will break your layout. So be careful to this. And here in the link dynamic tags, I will just assign the post URL. Now let's publish. Let's go back to our header. Let's publish and reload the page. And when I go now and select my search bar widget, I will see now that in the results, if I enable the live results, I can choose the live search results card template. Wow, that's awesome. We can customize a few more things down here. In my case, I leave them like this. And if I want, I can also customize the nothing found message. Okay, for me, it's okay. I just publish and now let's test things out. I go to my homepage and now I go and search for a tutorial. Let's say that I want to search for my ZipWP tutorial and there it is. It is not looking very good. So I will need to change a little bit the styling here. Let's go back to our header. I go to the style tab now. I see that there is this new results setting. So I open this one. I scroll down and I see that I can change the width of my results. I use a custom width now and I will change the width to let's say 250 pixels. Okay. I can also change the width based on the different devices, but in my case, I will just leave it like this. I'll publish. And when I go back to my test page now, if I go and search for zip WP, for example, as you can see now, it looks nicer. We can even increase a little bit more our size here. Let's say 350, publish. Let's reload the page. And voila, now it looks beautiful. Now in my case, I do not want to show also this specific category, which is called WordPress tools in my live search results. So if I want to exclude this specific category, I can go here, select my search results widget, go to the content area, scroll down to the query and simply go to exclude by term. And I will just enter here the WordPress tools term. Okay. Now if I publish and go and reload this page, if I try to search for zip WP, I see that now the WordPress tool category is now excluded from my search results. That's awesome. One last thing, I want to change the aspect ratio of my image. I go back here, I select my image, I go to the content, I select the medium large, and I change the style here. Let's hit the publish button, go back here, reload the page, and voila, these are my live search results. Perfect, they work great. Let me know what you think about this new Elementor Pro functionality. By the way, if you need to buy a new Elementor Pro license, you will find all my affiliate links in the description below. Thank you for clicking on these links if you want to support my work and my channel. My name is Pascal, I'm the creator of WP Roads, the YouTube channel where I share with you my passion and knowledge about WordPress. I hope to see you in one of my next videos and I wish you all the best with your WordPress projects. Ciao, ciao.